Welcome to the next lesson in Zapier 101. Today we're going to talk about one of Zapier's own apps called Filters. Filters and other apps by Zapier are built-in services included for free with your Zapier account that help you supercharge your workflow. This video is going to talk about one of the most useful of our built-in tools, the filter. Filters are a way to ensure your zaps fire only on the right kind of data. To give that some context, let's take a look at a zap I've already built for us. Right now, this zap takes every new response sent to my Wufu survey and adds their email address to my MailChimp list as a new subscriber. That's awesome, but not everyone who responds to my survey wants to be added to my email list, and I want to respect that. This is where the filter step comes in. I'm going to add a filter to check the question, do you want to receive emails, and see if that answer says yes. To do that, I'm going to click the plus sign on the left side of my zap to add a brand new step. From there, I'm going to choose the filter app, which only has a continue if action, and then click on continue. Next, I'm going to choose the field from the first dropdown that contains the question I want to filter on. You can access any field being returned by a prior step in this dropdown. Once I have the field I need, then I'll choose the kind of comparison we want to make. I'm using the text contains comparison here to check to see if the question we selected in that first dropdown contains what we enter into this box here on the right, which is yes. That means when I get a new submission where the responder answers yes to the do you want to receive emails question, only then will the zap continue on to the next step and pass the filter, adding that person's email to my MailChimp list. A good thing to keep in mind is that items that don't make it through your filter, like anyone who chooses no on my survey, does not count as a task against your usage. That means by using a filter, you can ensure that only the right data gets through and will save you tasks. Now you get to try adding a filter to some of your own zaps, and we'll see you in the next lesson.